Hello everybody, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Cyberlink Power Director. And here we are in Power Director 21, looking at some of the cool new features in the program. So whether you're using Power Director 21 or the 2022-23 version, uh, if you're using the 365 version of Power Director, these features are brand new and kind of cool. This one here is pretty exciting. You'll find it in the upper left-hand corner of the program amidst all the rooms here, like the media room and the titles and the transitions. Right underneath the media content panel is a room called the video intro room, brand new in version 21. And you can see they're in a variety of categories. There are an awful lot of these an awful lot of these as you add them up here you can see it's well over 3,000 so a lot of these now they're not all on your computer and the first time you select or play with them it will probably have to uh, download and that only takes a second or so some of these are already on your computer some aren't you'll just find out when you select them so let's select uh, we'll go to a theme here say gaming and we'll select this one right here. Now, as you can see, each of these runs about eight seconds to 15 seconds. They're not very long. You can customize the running time on them if you'd like, but customizing them is a little interesting. It's not kind of typical. Uh, generally, if it were a standard title, you'd add it to your timeline, double click on it, and then open it in the title designer. But here, because there are so many elements in it, it behaves a little bit differently. So let's select gaming channel, drag it down here to the timeline, and when I let go, it offers to open up the video intro designer. Let's do that, yes. And here in the video intro designer, you can do a number of customizations. Uh, you can see down here, you can change the template duration, which by default is 10 seconds for this template, but we could make it longer if we wanted it to be 20 seconds, for instance. We can swap out the background, although this background is pretty cool. As you can see, I'm just gonna play it so you can see how multi-leveled this animation is. This one has music, quite a few of them have music. That also adds to the interest. The text on here is of course customizable. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. You can also crop. You can apply a color filter. I kind of like this electronic glow, sort of retro 80s look. We can add additional text boxes. We can add imagery. Uh, we can even add a video overlay, an animated video overlay from the video overlay room. We can replace the existing music or audio with our own custom audio. And then there are some customizations we can actually do to the music. It's set up at a very high level here. You can play with those also as needed. Once you select text, um, not only do you have the option here of customizing it, so my official gaming channel, we'll call it my official movie channel. And you can change the font and you can change the color and all of those things also. But when you're in text editing mode, you also can select over here whether or not the text has a background behind it, which in this case wouldn't make much sense, but you could add a box behind it if you wanted to make it more readable or add another level. You also can create animations for the text. So right now I'm not sure is there an animation applied? There probably is. I don't remember, we could probably play it and see. Yes, there is an animation applied. And you can, of course, with the text selected, again, these are options only available when the text is selected, you can click on animation here and add your own or swap in your own custom animation for either intro or outroing, you know, bringing in the text or making the text leave the screen. So you can add separate animations for each of those movements, or you can select the option for no effect at all. Once we're all done with our customization, and again, you can see your customization is not limited in any way. You can reposition things on the screen. You can set when the text comes in and when it disappears by using these little controls down here. So when I've got my text selected, this darkened area is the intro animation, and this darkened area is the outro animation for that text. I can make the text begin sooner or begin later. And I'm just going to click off the text here. And so we get back to the main menu here of the video intro designer. There is a lot of cool stuff in here and uh, it creates a very cool animated title sequence. But one thing that makes this very different than standard title design is when I add this to the timeline, it'll just take a moment for it to generate. You can see I'm going to compress the timeline a little bit 
and move the gripper up so we can take a good look at the timeline you see that these elements that were used to create it aren't one single media clip but in fact they're spread over several layers including a layer for the music at the bottom the background at the top and depending on the characteristics of that particular clip if you double click on it, it's going to open in a different designer. So most likely when I click double click on text, it's going to open up in the title designer. Yep, that's exactly where it went. But this background here more likely is going to open in some sort of like there it is, the PIP designer. So it's best to get all your editing done in that video intro designer before you lay it on the timeline. Because once you lay it all on the timeline, it gets to be a little more complicated business. But it's a very cool tool or a brand new room added here in version 21 or in the 2022-2023 version of 365 in CyberLink PowerDirector. A lot of fun. Check it out.